Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can install the modding DLC Pack 5. That will allow you to add add-on peds, add-on vehicles and weapons into your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. So to follow this tutorial, you should have already followed the tutorial that I did on how you can set up your mods folder. If you haven't done that yet, make sure to check out the card in the top right right now. And also, this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way. If you haven't checked that out, a link is going to be down in the description and a card should also be on screen right now. So we're going to be starting off where we left off in the last episode. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the modding DLC Pack 5. A link for that is going to be down below in the description, so make sure to check that out. When you downloaded it, you're going to be saving it inside your GTA 5 mods folder um, that we created previously. And I have personally saved mine in a new folder called Vehicles. And here we see we've got modding DLC Pack 5, my ABBA 1125 and Festival Mat. You can see right up over there. So what we are going to do then is we're going to be extracting this file. So we're going to open it using, in this case, WinRAR. And we're going to extract it into the folder. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be going into the folder and we are going to be opening the README. And as you can see, you've got modding DLC pack five. Um, and you've got some general credit information, and here we have the table of contents about what exactly you can do with it. So as you can see, we can add new add-on peds, we can add new add-on vehicles, and uh, we can replace weapons that are already in the game. We can also replace existing vehicles and peds that are already in the game. So instead of doing everything in different locations inside your GTA 5 folder, you can now do it all with this modding DLC pack. And this means you're going to install everything inside the Morning DLC pack and not where the uh, download of the vehicle, for example, tells you to install it. So we are going to be scrolling down to the installation part. As you can see, you need a few requirements. You should already have all of these. And also, if you're on a GTA 5 version other than the one listed over there, you might need to install a new game config uh, for your GTA 5 version. That can be found right up over here at this link if you need that. Uh, if you do already have this GTA 5 version, you should be good to go. And if you need to check what version of GTA 5 you're on, you can go over to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and you can right click GTA 5.exe, select properties and then go over to details and it should tell you the version right there. As you can see, this is the version that matches the one in the readme. So we are all good to go. Obviously, this version number might change in the future, so make sure you check out the up-to-date README that you are currently installing and see what version is listed up over there. And with that out of the way, we can go right into the installation bit. Uh, we are going to open OpenIV. So we're going to run OpenIV. We're going to go over to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, and we're going to wait for that to load in for a second. And once it has loaded in, you are going to be going over into the Tools option menu. You're going to go over to Package Installer. And once you've done that, you're going to go over into the download slash GTA 5 mods folder. And then you are going to go over into the vehicles folder. And we're going to go over into modding DLC pack 5. And we're going to select modding DLC pack 5.oiv. So we're going to double click that and that should open. And as you can see, you've got a bit of information here. You've got a change lock here as well. Uh, we are going to click the install button. And we're going to select install inside the mods folder. So we're going to wait for that to install, should only take a very small number of seconds. And once that is done, we are going to close this and that should have installed the modding DLC pack successfully. So what we are now going to do, we're going to go over into the mods folder and we're going to go to update x64 DLC packs. And as you can see, you should now have a new folder here called modding and this folder should contain dlc.rpf. And over here is where you are going to be installing all the vehicles, peds and weapons you want to replace or add as add-ons. And we're going to be going over how to install all of those in upcoming videos and those will also be added to the Learn GTA 5 Morning Alba's Way playlist. So for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to be going over into the favourites and we're going to click add to favourites. And we're just going to be adding this to our favourites so we don't need to navigate here every time. Uh, I'm just going to call it uh, modding slash dlc.rpf and we are going to add that and now whenever you want to go here you can just click that and you should be right up over here. Now this little bit only applies if your GTA version didn't match the one listed in the readme. Uh, what you then are going to have to do is you're going to have to go into mods, uh, update, update rpf 
common data. And you can see here you've got the gameconfig.xml. The one included in the automatic installation package is the one for this game version. So if you don't have this game version of GTA 5 at the moment, you'll need to replace this file uh, with a game config that can be found from this link. And then you need to find the one uh, that matches your version of GTA. And now we have installed the modding DLC pack 5 successfully. So in upcoming videos, again, we are going to be going over all of these categories. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And then I'm also going to show you how you can pretty much add unlimited vehicles and pets into your game and how you can replace weapons all using the modding DLC pack 5. So I do hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. Really, really does help me out. And with that being said, everyone, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.